All right. Rogue's Tell Part 18. I always have to think about it. <laughs> um, so I don't have it because I always get on and make sure everything is working properly. Um, so I got on and out of habit I casted a buff and then it did invisibility on me and because um, I miscast it uh, and then I was like oh I'll just rest to get it off and then my jelly potion started wearing off and I was like gosh dang it and so I was like all right <laughs> because usually I try to make sure I'm very careful about not moving at all when I'm not recording uh, besides was it after part eight yeah, I think it would have been um, part nine. But anyways, you know, playthrough. Okay, so speaking of wits, I'm gonna do the looting and I think I will be trying to get um, some of this blessed at least. I well, actually, it's not really that much I want. I'm gonna try the, the Ring of Outcast. Yeah, so the Ring of Outcast. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just probably sell the rest. If that elements ended up being blessed, I, I'll save it. Um, and I might save jewelry now to try to start working towards the heritages for the, the storage ones, um, which are, yeah, actually right here. So if you do rings, you get to start with a ring at the beginning of the game which very often for me seems to either be outcast or adornment. Um, but <laughs> okay. And then let's see. So we, yeah, so I got four stats boxes. Uh, Scalder is still going to be a little bit away, maybe not too far away, but probably a few episodes. I think it depends on how quickly I get stuff because um, I really want to unlock runes but for me to unlock runes that will essentially make it so I can't complete this quest now it doesn't guarantee I can't complete it but since I have to keep a uh, human mage protected from dying and also I have all these radiances and stuff so it's very easy for me to turn them aggressive uh, so well, yeah, we'll, we'll see on that. Okay, enough talk. Let's salute. So, annoyingly, my amulet of protection that I was using that was blessed, took damage, and neither outcast nor the elements was uh, got blessed. I still haven't had that happen yet in this game. Jeez. Like... <laughs> It's a, something I know can happen. I mean, unless it got patched out. No, I, I'm sure it didn't get patched out. It's just that's RNG for you at times. You can be pretty unlucky. So something I'll do, I do a lot. And this is the good thing about um, video and everything um, is I will a lot of times kind of sit and think about what I'm going to do. Uh, and sometimes I'll be doing that when I'm not on. I'll think about what my next steps are uh, in general. Because yes, I th I know I th think think about games and things I'm doing a lot because I like to do well on them. That's just the way I am. I mean, I think most people like to do well in things, um, but that's how I go about that, or one of the ways in that I'll think about things a lot, and so. Yeah, I'm just thinking about like what I want my next steps to be. Well, just to be safe, I'll hold on to the fortitude. Um, if this was a game of my own, um, even if it was a new game, I probably wouldn't be as worried. And so I wouldn't worry about putting on this fortitude. But um, I would say um, because I don't want to die. Uh, so I, I don't want to have to start back over. Um, I'll have heritages, a, a good amount that are now going to help me. But I would say the same thing for you and um, making sure you don't die. Well, and also with the bosses, like I was saying, I, I would say with this boss, I just killed um, Blinkmaster Tree that if you have the Blessed Wand of Torture or a Master's Wand and it's got three charges, 
Uh, don't worry about any of the challenges. Don't worry about anything. Just get them killed. So just zap them three times as quickly as possible. Um, probably to be even safer um, is have the poison aura um, radiance on. That way you really make sure. And then as many immunities as you can. Like I, I would, I would still probably try to make sure you um, well always the big four and then on top of that paralysis is another uh big one i don't know if they do any uh you know thing else the thing i do know for sure is they do frost because i always have i usually don't have elements on my third leg um and so it always gets stolen in this fight and so i know they frost you but i don't know what else but you're pretty safe if as long as you got you know the really important immunities and a blessed wand of torture or a master's wand um, with three charges but otherwise yeah just play it really safe um, and then Balthar the dragon like I said the gun you get that um, you use that on them so you can get that stash box unlocked all right so I think I'm ready to move to the next dungeon let's uh, drink the other stat potions I was waiting until I finished. And then I got this, uh, it's supposed to be a, a Trump hat. Um, but uh, yeah, a MAGA, MAGA hat. Um, for those of you who don't know what that stands for, make make America great again. That, that's essentially what that's supposed to be. But so it um, enrages a demon rat, which is a boss. Um, so make sure you don't carry this on you. If something drops this, make sure the floor is completely cleared because it will lead to you dying if you do not how to know how to go about defeating it. Um, and the real easy way to go in about defeating it is with rune, runes unlocked, getting the hateful aura because your two hateful auras will cancel each other out because it has a hateful aura and the hateful aura is very powerful and th their hateful aura is more powerful than your hateful aura but they cancel each other out so that neither of your hateful auras work anymore if you have that on a weapon oh i didn't bring food to the fight that, that's something else i would actually recommend just to be safe it's bringing food to the fight Okay, yeah, let's go with that. That's decent, decent amount of room for 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 fire here. That's a decent amount of room for me to have. Try to remember. I might have mentioned this in my other playthrough. I don't think I've mentioned in this because I didn't have it for a long time. So remove curse, um, rotten food and water is technically cursed. So remove curse actually removes. Um, makes it not rotten anymore i was gonna say removes the rottenness but i don't think that'd be proper speaking um yeah so it's like you're removing the curse on it okay so i do got a talent point because i wouldn't see this quest here for the delivery service that's for the slow and steady talent it's not a huge reason for me to do bear cough so i definitely will be doing this it's not too hard of a boss but uh, I'm going to wait till um, I'm stronger and I can just, I'm pretty sure I could breeze through it, but where I can like definitely breeze through it. And another shop floor. <laughs> you always know you're on a shop floor when there's two signs right next to where you're standing. Oh, it looks like they might only have three guards. All right, well, that's an easy easy shop yeah normally i don't see this many so that's pretty cool oh oh i got banished demon don't i oh no i don't never mind right i'm saying oh because they cast release soul that means i use a soul gem okay let's see have i still not got any of the heroes of hallwood or only one helm <laughs> bruce from helm's deep <laughs> oh that's one of them all right <laughs> oh, Helm's Keep, sorry. And I got Bruce. Oh, I dropped a pink soul, soul gem. I'm actually doing pretty good on pink soul gems. Alright, I'm afraid of my spells are actually the better way for me to do damage now. 
Oh right, I'm level 30 now, so the card battles will be more difficult. Um, and again, they once you get past level 40, so when you're at level 40, the level 41 battle is much more difficult. And let's see what we get. Okay, not too bad. Ooh, right, we get to see how this works. End of turn, six damage. End of turn, one decoy, duration three. So I guess this lasts three turns, but yeah, I wanna see. Because I've, I've never used that one before. And the reason I haven't used a lot of these cards is because like, um, ooh, I better use the scroll to get me down actually. There's a lot of cards, and so, you know, once I found a setup that worked really well, I then didn't, you know, worry about what, um, you know, trying out all the cards at that time. But it's kind of fun now to, to, to do it and everything. Okay, so it goes back into your hand. All right. Cool. You know, I'm actually going to intentionally not attack. I'll, I'll do the wound, but I want to see something here. Oh, yeah. That, uh, okay, no, actually, I can't see it. Oh, it, I wasn't paying attention. I assume it's, it was attacking all the enemies, but I wasn't paying enough attention. All right, so they're going to do a buff, but not anymore. So blue 171, okay, five should be a duplicate. So we're at 10. Ring of Bloodlust. I think that's a hill card since it, the ring does that. Yeah, two health on attack. Okay, and since a lot of my damage isn't from actual attacks, not going to bother using that. I probably could get away with like the ring of shielding, but not not gonna worry about it. I forgot I got the other Talon point, so I think I will do Infernal, um, and then I made a video on this, but you can re uh, unlearn talents and actually, or, well, so there's multiple ways to unlearn talents. I think instead what I'm going to do is there's a potion. Um, that will let you unlearn or you'll unlearn all talents and bloodlines so i'm not going to worry about getting a bloodline yet oh wizard staff cool yeah because i did all those all right just checking off boxes left and right all right so um yeah plane shift all right so now i'm like Full speed ahead. <laughs> oh. Yeah, plane shift. The only reason I even bother taking an infernal, <laughs> honestly. I mean, there's a few other reasons. Uh, oh, the good thing now is I can do capture soul, so I can get black soul gems. Or I don't have a spell book, right? I think it's the spell books I got. I know I saw it in the shop. Uh, because I wasn't expecting it, the seventh talent. So yeah, I could, um, if I see in the shop again, I can get that. But yeah, plane shift. All right, only infernal spell I got. 
Uh, yeah, so I definitely want more light radius. And something else to note with plane shift is there's a cooldown with disoriented, and it goes up if um, you're hasted. But yeah, very, very happy to have plane shift. It is um, one of the things that makes the game much easier. Even if you have plane shift, you still want to have a wand of shifting because this can work even when you're disoriented, uh, which is what the debuff's called. Um, now it will increase how long it's up uh, if you're using the wand. So if you use it several times, your disorientation will be pretty long. But yeah, so that's the good thing is you can use the wand of shifting. And then a lot of times the more important reason is, especially if you're not using a staff, because a staff lets you recast if you get a miscast. So you almost never miscast with a staff unless you have some curse. If you have, um, especially if you have two or more curse, um, you'll still miscast a significant amount of the time with a staff. But if you have no curse, um, you'll almost never miscast. So it's pretty safe but still if i absolutely know or pretty certain i'm going to die i will use the wand and not the staff but especially if it's iffy using um if i'm not using a staff if i'm still using these i think i'm transitioning to where well I'm trying to decide if i wanted to get off that all right let, let's let's talk in more um doing stuff want to see if i can get tree men because it still would be nice there's still charms um i want to get uh quite a few actually all right right here i was gonna jump and i'm like ooh, i can plane shift away yeah yeah and so this is also a good reason to have a ghost form amulet is you don't have to worry about a plane shifting onto a boulder trap all right let's uh Teleport back, see what we got. Magical Bolt. So I assume this probably ignores all armor. Because what would be the point? So actually it's a lot better than um, a fine bolt because Essentially, every single one of your attacks is piercing, where, yeah, piercing's only a 1 in 6 chance otherwise. <laughs> a little bit close because of the auras. So yeah, I do need more damage. All right, unique 170. Healing touch. So that should be a healing spell. You know, I could actually do this because I don't have to use it. I actually... I'm debating about using the... Um, Ring of shielding. No, because if I lose, it's okay. Yeah. 
give me more of an opportunity to get more cards. But yeah, I would definitely say before you get to the really hard battles, if yeah, you even have a little bit of healing, you can pretty much endurance your way through these battles. Um, uh, do a marathon fight, uh, turtle, whatever, whatever term you want to use, yeah. There we go. <laughs> See, I told you it worked. It, yeah. You know, one in six chance. You can still get really unlucky, and it can still take like 20 plus tries, uh, which I think is pretty close to that. Oh, right. Actually, you know what? This could. I, um, hold on. I think I have most of what I care about. Yeah, okay, never mind. I was debating about trying to get this blow. Oh, scripting! I actually would have loved to have a blessed one of that. Shoot. Yeah, I was thinking I had bought one already. I think I skipped buying one. So, yeah, this just lets you make copies of scrolls, and so it's really good with recharging. Uh, the copies this way aren't worth any money, whereas the scribes tools, they're worth um, the regular value of whatever it is you're copying. Um, unless it's blessed, the blessed, if you're copying a blessed um, onto a non-blessed blank scroll, um, then it'll just be the most expensive master scroll. Um, but yeah. Uh, so now I can, yeah, get that charged up. So I can be pretty liberal um, and use the wand of shifting a lot and not worry about that. And then, yeah, you can just go like that and hey, recharged. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. And yeah, let's, I'm going to start buying more stuff that I don't have the knowledge of yet. So yeah, I just bought Spectral Gateway here out of this shop. And this is the one that lets you teleport to a Sacrificial Circle. And yeah, so I do have the Sacrificial Circle spell. I just need to get more Black Soul Gems and I can get, um, yeah, be able to do that. And that's um some of the steps towards getting to fight scalder so uh release soul which is the opposite of capture soul um and so this releases soul gems um doesn't seem to matter whether they're black or pink as far as the purposes of this spell um and so it does damage to enemies or it does the exact same thing as an enchant item um with also the flaw of if an item already has enchants on it it um can cause that item to explode so again don't use enchant item or release soul on items that already have uh enchants on them all right, Banished Demon. So that was the spell I thought I'd had. Um, so yeah, does damage and has a chance to instantly kill demons. And um, it's based off of charisma, just like uh, Turn Undead. Bless Ring of Haste. That's something I also like to put on third legs of the imp. Oh, Bless Radiance, but it's Frost. That's actually what um, I'm still doing resets for is I want to get um, some more even regular fire radiance, but if I get a blessed one, that'd be great. Um, oh, but yeah, so back to the pure-blooded potion I was talking about earlier. If that um, So that erases all of your talents it also removes your bloodlines and so now i will wait to start the trollish bloodline ah, wanda wonders oh right i'll sell it to the shopkeeper and that, that way i can pretty much get better yet i can actually get like all my profit back Mwahaha. 
can actually, yeah, or make a little bit of profit. And let's do one more. That is one of the advantages to not having a, uh, um, a blessed Wanda scripting is you don't need to worry about going to zero charges because you, um, you'll always want to stay at one or you have a big chance. Oh, that is reading the text there. Um, but yeah, it, you have to recharge it when it's at one or there's very, you're very likely to lose the blessing. Help out Pink Flamingo or tell him the bad news. Yeah, that does suck. That's why I always try to leave my like dark spots towards not you don't want them right by the stairs, but you know one room away or whatever, or on the um, spell quest because because of that. So yeah, it sucks, um, and I am probably me, and I think might have been chicken a long time ago. I was talking about. Um, in chat about how I would starve in counters <laughs> and it sounded like the, uh, they would sometimes do the same thing because you could yeah just wait for encounters to s starve um, to death <laughs> if you were just like off in another room because they don't they don't go out and seek to find you um, if you hit an alarm trap I think if you're close, they would go um, to seek you out. But otherwise, um, yeah, I think even that. So yeah, it sucks. There's nothing you can do. Um, again, another reason I have time warp scrolls. Um, they are yeah something very good that was added to the game. And maybe that was part of the reason they added them because they weren't in um, the game. So funny. <laughs> okay, so the Wanda Wonders and the Fire Aura Radiance. So we'll do the Uber Lift, but I don't have room. Oh, I need to do the Geomancy, right? Yeah, because I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, let's go back to town because actually I should enchant it because that will give me a lot more money. I actually should keep the Geomancy now that I'm thinking about it. Right, I don't have Alter Terrain. Yeah, okay, I don't have Alter Terrain. Um, yeah, there's a reason I want it. Okay, so they're empty. Yeah, or right, full, I mean. And then they're going to all be dead. Yeah, they'll probably all be dead here. Make sure I got instant death. Okay. Looks like I didn't get the last one. Unless it just didn't give me the message they died. Okay, I cursed them now. Yeah, I don't think they turned aggressive because uh, everything dying. Okay, so I want to get those blessed. All right, yeah, it should be not too bad on money because I'll get back. Um, well, once I sell all their gear to, yeah, it should be over 3,000. Okay, so I'm going to do more copies of Scrolls and Knowledge here. Oh, a Blessed Invisibility. Actually, that's really good. Yes. Now I can actually get some decent quality. Um, well, actually, they'll be good quality, um, high high quality um, scrolls of invisibility. Um, okay, so these two 
actually all of these are junk. And it would be much easier for me to just have one scroll of invisibility on me. So freeing up some more room, that would be nice. Um, okay, so we're gonna do that. Get me a master scroll of invisibility of the highest quality. I bought this Bless Wand of Tempest. Um, if I do get the Soul Hunter's Bag, um, that's a requirement for um, one of the weapons, which is a pretty good weapon. Um, one of the ingredients you need to craft it. And definitely the hardest of the ingredients to come by. Okay, and then I can sell that one now that I got a blessed one. There's a reason I'm having this. Uh, it's actually for the puzzle game. I just want to absolutely make sure um, I don't accidentally die. So I'm going to equip this. Okay, and then so scrolls of knowledge for the rest. And, and you can't use the wand of scripting on scrolls of knowledge. So it, any of you that were thinking that, um, yes, it doesn't work. It gives you scrolls of amnesia. And you used to be able to curse scrolls of amnesia, so they would be a scroll of knowledge, but then that got changed, which is probably a good thing. Because otherwise, it's just way too easy to learn all the spells and uh, unlock the seventh talent if you haven't. I forgot, I didn't mean to use all of them there, but that's why I also always store one back um, once I make copies and make sure. All right, and I was trying to get, um, especially the Wanda Wonders, get that blessed, darn it. Cool, so yeah, I'm getting all the knowledges now through the scrolls of knowledge. So we got potion knowledge and amulet knowledge, all right. And ring knowledge. Oh, I wonder if it goes in like. Cause that I got all three makes me wonder. Yeah, maybe it it goes in order. Like, okay, you got twenty eight of each. Huh. Well, still got uh, four wands. So still got a little ways to go before I can start learning spells. I don't think there's anywhere that tells you how many spell knowledges you have. Because um, uh, first, which it changed, it didn't used to have to be this way. But now the way it is, is you have to first get the knowledge of the spell. Um, and then you have, or and then once you have all the knowledges of the spells, then you'll start learning spells but it's not until you have every single spell knowledge. But if you know the spell, then you have the knowledge, but you can have the knowledge without having the spell. That's too bad. So there's an enchant item, which I just got the knowledge of. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I got Warren Amulet of Enchantment. All right, only three more, and that way I don't need to have that specific amulet in uh, future games. Oh, right, I still got more on the ground here. Since I don't plan on like changing enchants or anything right now, that that won't be something until I'm I'm to runes. Um, so I don't need to keep a huge um, surplus of money. So see, buying that, I got the, the knowledge of Mass Dismissal. So you can buy the spell books to get the knowledge. But definitely not something you, you want to do earlier on. Okay, so I don't have Baffling, so we'll buy that. Unfortunately, it's an expensive one. All right, Capture Soul. Now it'll be much easier to get Black Soul Gems. Alright, I kinda doubt I'll have room for all of these. Yay! The wand heritage. 
By the way, as far as I can tell, quality doesn't seem to matter on Wanza shifting. Let's store the rest here. So yeah, probably pretty soon get all the knowledges and then start learning spells with scrolls of knowledge. So it does take quite a while as you can see. And so if you're trying to do it without getting any of the literacies besides literacy common or only one, um, while you can still get all of these spells, especially once you have the heritages, it's not nearly as hard. Um, but if you don't have all of these heritages to learn the spells easier, um, it's going to take a long game. Okay, out of curiosity. Okay, not too many turns. Alright, got all the right jewelry. Got 13 immunities. Alright, I think uh, that is it for this part. And so I'll see you all in the next part of my full playthrough of Rogue's Tale. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Fire, and we're on fire.